wala yung problem sa kong social life. But I can't give an advice kay Dilipod, hindi nga naka-blooming kong <laughs> social life. Dahil lang, tawa ko. So ako si Febby, 29 years old, gatarot ko at the same time nagawarsag ko sa BPO industry. May gandla ako na si Ken, 27 years old and a business owner. Hi, ako na si Gab, I'm 25 years old, isa ko ka-professional photographer. Ako si Jay, 27 years old and I'm a freelancer. So sa tarot, um, it started as a hobby when I was younger and interest sa jud na ko siya. Eventually, nahimuna sa siya something na makakwarta sa ko. For BPO, it's my main source of income. Siyempre, nag-start ko as an employee. Itong nakaipon-ipon na, so nag-try ko business. In the process, murag na-learn po na ko sa sarili nga. Lingaw man siya, um, I think, na ako, ako kasing-kasing sa pag-manage yung negosyo. Nag-start akong career as a hobby. High school ko, nag-picture-picture ng sa kong, kong cellphone and then moto I did not expect na may muna ko siyang profession karon gipili na ko ang business ad na ko na course tungod kay nagapangita ko og school gani na duol sa kuang ginatrabahoan and at the same time dili kailangan og uniform so ako na isip dito katong sa UM Bolton and ang ilang gina-offer dala kay mga business man ng mga courses moto na nag-proceed ko diha Kung may na milestone, simple lang siya, like financial independence, be able to support my cat and my plants. <laughs> and being at 29, na I'm still here. Hindi ko kayo depressed, still alive and kicking. <laughs> Ever since na graduate, kato nakapag-ipon-ipon, naka-start ng negosyo, nakapalipon ng sakyanan. Naka-build to studio, uh, photography studio, at the age of 23. Wala ko nag-expect po na makuha na ko siya kay lagi on the side lang yun siya. With my, you know, full-time work, isa ba sa pinaka-significant is nag-quit po sa akong full-time job and then gigari na dyan ako ang photography. So, na-happy ko and I'm living the dream. I think yung pinak-biggest yung achievement na ako kay napag-graduate na ako ako sarili. As a working student, dili dito dila lim isabay ang trabaho o ang skwela kay Grabe dito kayo yung pag-juggle ganit sa mga oras. Time management dito is the key at the same time, discipline. Feel na ko, dagat dito kong lagi na challenges kay isa pag-negosyo, dili dito na lim. It's like every day is a challenge. How to live, how to get by, how to survive. Ang ako ang trabaho sa una kay mag-start ng 3 a.m. Then akong klase mag-human around 5 or 6 p.m. Depende sa semester. Night time na kung klase mo humanog 80 p.m. po. So, tight na dyan kayo na ano dyan. When I acquired the studio po, I had a lot of setbacks and kinang doubt sa kong sarili ko. Makaya mo na kung mayan ng rent. Mga dyan tayo pinaka number one. And aside from that, if makakuha ba ko enough clients to at least sustain my living. Ang pandemic dyan, like we've all experienced setbacks during that time. Dili lang siya financially, sa ako asad mo rag spiritually and when it comes to friendships, sa daan sa kikog na disconnect na people sa kong life. After After many years ni mo sa pag you know, paghago ni mong trabaho ng school la ba kay wala yung paso tungkol sa pandemic. Okay, naka-graduation picture ko ang na, naingan na pero murag, wala siya yung ceremony which is very well underwhelming. Murag murag to like after nako pila ka tuig magpakahago magpuyat. Sa so, pag survive sa business, sa imuang family, sa imuang finances. So I think mo na akong challenge ka ron o nagdiliman sa ingon nga nalampasan na ako na na challenge. But I can say na ito nang sugod ko o sa ako ang estado ka ron, tagang dito kong natunan. I took the chance, I took the leap to follow my heart, follow my passion, and then yun, in turn out good. We're turning, I were already two years na sa studio, so always take the opportunity, take chances. So if dili siya mag-work, and then go to another plan sa life. Because of that alone time, na gahinan akong panahon good na mag- delve into my spirituality, into my tarot things, and to like occult stuff. Ang experience na ako as a whole dyan from that time came where a whole mapul siya ba kung kinsa ko pa ron o ganang hindi ako makalit-kalitan ganit sa mga stressful na mga bagay kay <laughs> ikaw daw mag-skwela o trabaho at naman ito na pa yung makatinag sa imuha ng mga stress dira. Choke lang, napabay tayo mas worse. <laughs> Hi, 
And ako yung anong philosophy nga gina try of practice, which is uh, stoicism. One definition of it is self-control, control over your emotions, na uh, discipline, and if something is out of your control, don't stress over it. My integrity towards work and my attitude put ako towards my work. Every time I do client works or like I do such stuff in photography, I always give my best mang yun. And I always give the best quality to my clients. So that is why siguro po na blessed ta enough to the returning clients na ganun sa tong trabaho. I guess kuna mo yun dapat na ang i-instill sa talan ng mga nag-watch right now na always have integrity in your work. Always work like if it's your last project with them or at least wala ka regret on your end now if you did your best or not when you know what na apil ko atong more nag plant ito wave so nag ano sa kog mga plants so mura siya na habi ang naka help din sa ko ah katong time na alone ko like tending the plants and seeing them grow good from like a tiny thing ni mo dako din sila so out of your caring ikaw sad good ma develop sad ka as a person Importante jud kaayo na ma-monitor nimo imo ang ana jud imo ang part time mo finances. Na ako ginagamit na app gani na ginalog na ko dito every gasto from the very smallest jud like kutay maghatag og singko sa pulubi. Monitor jud na since 2018. I start ko with my crystals journey. Nagsadi ko about sa ilang metaphysical help kun sa tuwa sa tong life. I mean not everyone believes it but if feeling nimo ga work siya it go and for me feeling ako ga work siya. So Pangitas ang mga noy, so palit na sa lahat ng kasamaan. You became serious with your life, kay dito gini mo makita kung isa ang tinood ng dilit na mga tao sa mga life na mo abot, di ba? Ogni abot, so you always have to pick yun kinsa tayong mga mga amigo ko, kay ang friendship mo at investment magun sa, and then you also have to invest in your and money, kay simply anang you guys are hanging out. Always pick those people na you you think na makakontribute sa mga good or like makagain sa mga wisdom ba as you build the business or at least build your life personal life niya lang sa. Kaya ko makita na to sa social media na ka ng if wala siya ay maayong nga mahatag sa imo ay cut off na ni mo siya napas ng mong life. I'm not a fan of that kay dilip man kailangan nga mag cut off taong tao sa itong life kung diligent necessary kung wala nga siya gyatag na trouble sa ito. When I was younger, medyo too friendly and too open. Medyo naiim sa gotong bata pa ko. So karun, I realized you can be like that but for selective people lang. Not everyone can be trusted. Not everyone you can be vulnerable with. My heart lang ka at the end of the day. So it's better to save that part of you with a small group lang jud na kanang kabalo ka na kanin sila murag solid jud ni maka-relate jud ni sa ko ang kinang murag ning dali na kay ko madrain ba imagine nun guni mo na lai lai na tawo imo ang katubang permi and you have to present this kind of persona ganing and dili ikaw unless kung personal jud ta na nagmeet na like uy kanang kumusta ka ana pero so far wala na kay ko mga na encounter skin ana mo small circle of friends na sila ang nagasustain sa ko social life and fulfilling na na siya sa ko and happy na ko then balik na pud ko tubang sa Top or some computer. I think it's understandable na nadyo tayo kanya-kanya itong mga life. So, be there for your friend. Kung kailangan niya, kung na siya yung problema, kung kung sa'yo mong mahatag, ano lang. Separating dude, your personal life, your work life, your love life, your social life. Like, nadyo dapat separations between those. If you mix up, your work life may overlap your personal life and you may burn out. So if your social life will overlap your work life, you don't want to perform in your work. It's better to have boundaries. You should try your mind if it's your business or work. Then, if you're going to go to the next day, you're going to go to business. If you're going to go to the next day, then you're stress. Of course, you're not going to go to the next day. Then, you're going to go to your partner, you're going to be okay, you're going to be stressed, you're going to go to the next day, you're going to relax your day. You're going to go to the next day, you're going to go to the next day. You're going to go to the next day. As much as possible, you're going to go to the next day, 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 
ginabuhat ya po na ako akong passion as a hobby. Dapat na adjud ko yung certain time ganit na mabuhat na ako na siya kayo para at least ba refreshing ganit siya sa ako ang mind na delete ng trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. Mag at least makikita pag something visual like mag picture or mag video and namin kayo na siya sa akong mata kayo ka ng alam niya ni color grade o alam niya ni edit o yung mga anak ganit. So dapat na adjud ko yung hobby ganit na delete ni mo ipasok ang corporate life kayo para delete po siya madungisan. For me it's important na mag-rescue government. It's a business strategy to every business owners na mag-rest yun. Kung na opportunity, pag burn out mood ka or like overwork ka, you cannot think properly of what's the next strategy that you will do. Always take your rest. Pag pahulay, go on a vacation, take a break, uh, hang out with your friends. Kay it's important for your sanity, for your personal growth. And then after that, when you go back to business, di ba, recharge na ka and mas lakan kang mauna-unaan na mga plans on your business. Yan Practice your hobby, your interest, your passion. Though dili siya ingon nga makagain ka o something na financially, ay pero ang imong fulfillment, uh, ma-fuel man. So, it should keep you going. Medyo clear siya siya, pero loving yourself. Kaya musa na wanjud ako struggle ever since I was younger. You have to appreciate yourself more and uh, you have to learn how to love yourself. If all else fail, you still have you. Take the chance, explore lang yun always. Kay you will never know. Maybe that that's for you. Para sa mga na if you're watching this and then you're looking for a sign to do things na imong subuhaton, then maybe this is the sign. Actually, na ito look at things sa dapat ni mo consider yun sa mo ang career. First is nako bagsil do. Second is happy ba kasi mong ginabuhat? And ang third kay ano healthy ba siya na environment for you to to learn new things? Find a good partner. But that doesn't mean na pagtawad yun mo ang the right one for you. Kay, uh, it's a very big idea. Nga na yung right one para sa mo. Work on yourself so that ikaw may mukhang right person para sa mo partner. The job that you have right now is not really what would define you for the rest of your life. Na yung mga times siguro na mag-venture out ka, maka-decide ka na kay idea na kalihim mo buhaton and ang pinaka the best jud anak manggood sa pag-experience ni mo sa mong work is nakay learnings na wala ka balo ma-apply ni mo sa mong life in the future or sa mong let's say future business pa but ang learnings jud kana jud kaya makabuild up manggood ng character jud jud ang work my message to my younger self is okay lang na nagugugugug ka at least, dili ka ma-ignorante. Diba, at least, na, na-try ni mo na, dili ka ma-ging ano, ka ma alien to that feeling. And you have story to tell to other people na it's okay to get drunk, to go out, to hang out with friends, na makauling buntag na. Basta always, ano lang yun, um, set your goals lang po. Choose yourself always. Don't let other people govern your life. Ano good? Don't let other people be the center of your universe. Nili just sila center sa universe. I mean, we are all different, mang good. And always find inspiration sa sa yung self because you're an interesting person, dude. Wala na ko advice kung matag sa kung younger self o kung madonggan lang ni niya. Pag practice sa kung unsa ang imong gusto. Like, kung gusto mo ka mag-sports, gusto ka mag-music, gusto ka mag-business, gusto ka mag-academics and everything. Focus lang yun sa goal. Focus sa goal. Iwan. <laughs> Focus lang sa imong passion. Focus lang yun siguro sa imong self-development. Kay, nag-grand yun kaya ayaw ka kumbaga malandingan anak ng mga butang. Kabalo ko, ikaw, younger self, dalit lang yun kaya ka ma-excite pag nakay, makailan na tao gani. Maramember dyan ako, akong younger self, dyan na ka ng move try og fit gani sa kanang mga certain group of people na mga diligent niya circle wala jud na siya pulos jud promise at the end of the day kung asa ko karon wala ila ay nagatabang sa ako ang growth or development kundi kita lang jud ato ang sarili lang i-invest jud imo sarili jud na maging knowledgeable ka and everything like that yeah